Hello everybody and welcome to another pixelforlife.com video tutorial. Today we're going to take a look at the animation timeline in Photoshop CS Extended. All you need to do is go up to Window and click on Timeline and that will bring up your timeline with your image already in the uh, preview pane here at the bottom. You can see we have this little slider and all we're going to be doing in this lesson is we're simply going to be able to make this image so that we can zoom um, the area for it. Okay. So first of all, let's go ahead and hit Control C. We're going to create a new document. We're going to make this be 720 and by 480. Now, you, normally the pictures would be much higher resolution, and you would use the 1280 by 768. But because our picture is already that size, we're just going to use this smaller one. So once it's here, we paste our image in, and you can see here our image is now bigger than our canvas. So you simply hit Create Video Timeline, and from there it's really simple all you do is right click and go to zoom click on resize to fill canvas so it's not checked and click on zoom out then simply click on the timeline and the edit has been done if you click on this little arrow here you can see the keyframe point markers have already been made and if we go ahead and zoom through our timeline you can see that there is a zoom effect but not very much so what we want to do is we want to go ahead and click on this keyframe go to control T which is our transform tool and we're going to simply go ahead and drag this so that it is roughly the size of our canvas on the top and the bottom and then we'll hit enter and you can see there that now the zoom is much more alright now from this point on we can do some other things what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and copy this image which duplicates it we're then gonna drag it all the way to the end of the timeline We'll go ahead and zoom out on this a little bit so we can kind of see what's going on a little bit better. We're going to go ahead and shorten this to about half of the length, maybe a little bit more. And now we're going to simply um, get rid of this transform point so it stays the same size. But instead, we're going to change our opacity. So from here to around halfway through this frame, we want to go ahead and set our opacity all the way down. And you can see that, that that then creates a keyframe. I'll now create another layer in the background and just simply fill that with white. And I will then simply drag this all the way to the beginning of the timeline. Now if I go back to the beginning and I hit my space bar, you can see it play through the animation, zooming out very nice and very smoothly. And then it goes and it fades out with the opacity. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little lesson using the timeline feature in Photoshop CS6. If you liked this, be sure to hit that like button and please comment below letting us know what you think. Also, be sure to check out our Facebook page and of course our Twitter. Thank you all and have a great day.